everybody in the Power Platform community. Uh, my name's Andrew Lee and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of PCF on, uh, on Microsoft Power App Portals. So before I get started, a um, couple of things I want to actually uh, mention. Um, that is that by the time you see this video, it should be in public preview. So you should be able to get your hands on it. Um, and then also, uh, I'm going to walk you through uh, the live demonstration and also tell you what is supported and what's not supported today. Um, so with that, let's just get started. Um, so PCF has been available for quite some time since 2019. Uh, it was initially released for model driven apps and then it was released in beta for um, Canvas um, apps. So with this latest iteration, the third, uh, the third milestone that they've uh, hit now is uh, a public preview of of uh, PCF on portals. And so why is that important? A um, couple of things. Uh, well, it enables you to sort of uh, engage with end users and, and build a better beta, B2B and B2C experience for your clients. And then also um, it enables you to get away with uh, a lot of the JavaScript development that um, you need to typically do on a um, Power, Power Platform page and uh, allows you to develop in a fashion that's reusable uh, across your projects. So it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited about it. Um, so I, I couldn't wait to get my hands on the private preview and, and hopefully uh, you'll get a taste of that today. So just a couple of caveats. Uh, one, it only currently supports um, field types. It does not support data set yet. And there is limitations obviously because it's browser driven um, you're not going to get access to device um, APIs. Uh, there's more about that. I'll leave a link in my um, description to a blog that details this further. There's also no support for web API yet. So I think they just want to make sure that everything is 100% right with field types before they can uh, continue iterating on the other components. So let's, uh, let's get started. I'll see if I can just switch to my other screen right now and just show you uh, a little bit about what I'm talking about. So, all right, um, so the way you get started with building a, uh, or deploying a PCF onto portal is uh, first of all, uh, much like with um, uh, any other portal entity form, you, you need to create a, uh, create a model driven uh, form in which it can base its uh, rendering engine on. And so we've got a, a model driven form here. I'll just see if I can uh, switch to the screen view. Okay, so you can see in here, I've got a couple of different PCFs going on. Uh, I've got a multi-line uh, text. This is the rich HTML uh, editor. I'll tell you uh, why I put that in shortly. And uh, also I've got a couple of um, different, this is a progress bar PCF control that I created a while back. It's on GitHub. It's also some of the out of the box control. So you do have this scrolling um, uh, number sort of slider. You've got a star rating. I've got a custom PCF component um, that sort of just blinks. And, and, and things like that. So basically this is a form that I've created, I've set up uh, within a model app. All right, so uh, next next you wanna be able to, uh, there's a few configurations that you need to make on the portal side of things. So looking here, we've got the portal management app. This is a one-time configuration you need to do and you need to create a new entity permission um, that allows uh, uh, read to the web resource uh, entity. Okay, so if I just click on here, it's pretty simple. Uh, you basically just uh, nominate web resources, the entity, uh, the scope is global, it's read privileges, and then once you've created that, you need to add the associated web roles. Um, hopefully this will be on by default in the future. There's no promises around that, um, but um, look, it's just a one-time configuration. It's not too difficult to do. All right, so next, what we wanna do is uh, create an entity form. Uh, based on you know whatever um, entity you you, you want to expose on the web, so within here I've got uh, let's have a look quickly at the um, this entity I call widget. So I created basically a, an entity form that's targeting uh, this entity widget. So that pretty much is standard fare. Um, then I'll move over to entity metadata, and this is where you need to create uh, a few um, uh, records for the entity form metadata so that it knows that it, it needs to go to a code component or a PCF control. So let's have a look at one of the ones that I've um, started creating here. 
So uh, for type, you need to be able to set that it's an attribute that you wish to define this metadata for. Then you select the attribute here, uh, provide a label, and then you'll see a new option here under control style. And it is actually called um, code component, okay? So hopefully um, by the time you read this, your portal uh, instances will be updated and you'll see this uh, choice available. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Uh, next, what we'll do is we're done with the, the backend portal side. Uh, I'm just going to switch over to uh, this side, um, which is I'm going to create a brand new page. Well, actually, I've, I've already created a page here. So let's just go to the page. All right. Now, I've dropped a component in, in here, uh, form. So if you don't know how to do that, you just got to go components and then form. And then once you've got uh, that component added, uh, click on use existing, uh, go to the name of the form that you created earlier within the um, portal administration app. And uh, that's pretty much it. You then save and you can start testing straight away. Okay. Um, so does that, that sounds pretty straightforward so far. I'm just going to show you what that looks like uh, on the web. So if I go to my uh, web page itself, uh, I'm going to go to uh, create a new widget, this is what I call my entity. So while that just sort of loads up. Okay, cool. All right, so um, we've, got this, we've got this widget here and within this widget, you can see the form that I created. You can see some of the controls that are currently in play. So you can see that's a PCF control here, that slider. There's also the star control. Um, there's also, I put a currency field um, control here. Uh, now some of my controls aren't displaying on here and I need to figure out why that is. So one is a, uh, that multi-line, uh, you know, that uh, rich text editor is not displaying. I think there might be some dependencies to XRM. So um, it'll be worthwhile Microsoft probably having a look at that. Also one of the custom controls that I added was a very simple one I created a few, um, about a year back. Um, that might need to be recompiled before it'll work. So there's quite a lot of refactoring and retesting of existing controls that you need to do. Um, but essentially that's what it looks like, okay? So I'm just gonna go back to the other view here. Okay, so I'm in the other view. I'm just gonna look at an existing record. You can see it does that uh, pop-up uh, dialogue thing. And it will also display here. So you can see that the controls are currently displayed. And funnily enough, at the, um, that pulsing um, uh, PCF that I created earlier is now working again. So it's actually the first time I've seen that working. Uh, so it's probably, it might be just a configuration issue. Um, but that's pretty much it. I, I think it's pretty exciting um, in terms of what, how quickly they've been able to move on this. Um, and uh, yeah, look, I, I, I really encourage everyone to, uh, take a look at it yourself as soon as you've got an environment ready to do so. And also maybe help us test some of the existing controls uh, within the PCF.gallery uh, uh, website. And, um, and then, yeah, then it'll be happy days after that. And continue to provide any sort of feedback um, to the Microsoft product team or, or myself, and I can sort of pass that on. Uh, with that, I'm, I'm going to call it, uh, I'm going I'm to wrap that up there, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.